Hi class, we're going to continue on here and I'm going to show you how to use variables to collect up the information that you're keying in from the keyboard. Up till now we have been able to print information out to the screen, so we've got output going, but we haven't been able to collect any input as we've been running the program. So the purpose of this program is to, let's just come into here, to use variables. We've got our purpose here. Now we have been writing out to our text window so we have to do the same thing again here so that we can prompt or ask the user for the information. What is your name? Properly. We better put in a question mark I think. There you go. Now we are now going to set aside part of memory that is reserved to hold information about the name. So it's a box in memory, a part of memory. We're going to label it name and in this area in memory labeled name we will put any information about our name, the name that we collect from the user. So let's set aside this area in memory. That there has done it. It's any name. We can use any name. We can make that up. That's not a special command for small basic. And then I'm going to go prompt the user for their name. I've prompted it. Now I have to collect and store what they type in the keyboard. I have to store it in names. So let's read it in. That's the way we do this, read. So now it's telling me here at the black screen, read in the information that's typed and store it in this area in memory called name. So then let's go and get it to tell us what has been stored. So we're going to back to this right line and here we will say your name is and we will then use the special character here which is a plus sign to put these two things together every time you use a plus sign straight after a string and that there in between those double quotes is a string the plus sign doesn't become a mathematical plus sign it's just a symbol that says put these two things together just put one after the other, don't do anything with them, just put them together. So I'm going now to just put in anything in that memory box variable called name straight after that string. So let's go and run it, see what happens. So what is your name? Let's just move that so you can see that. What is your name? My name is Liz. Your name is Liz, well done. So you should try that for your name. Run it several times to make sure it's working. Now let's just change this little program and change it that instead of reading in from the keyboard text or strings as we've learned the word for it, let's get it to read in an age in numbers so that it can do things to this age. It wants it to be, we want it to be numbers so that I could keep track of my, the average ages, um, how old I am, how young I am, whether I'm older than something else. I can't do that if it was text, but if I keep it as a number, I can. So I'm going to change the name of the variable box here. That's the area reserved in memory to hold the information coming from the keyboard. I'm going to change it to name. And here, instead of reading in text, I have to, I can read in number and I'll just move those out there and then it says your name is I want the text to say your age is and over here I'm going to say age so let's have a quick run of this how do we look what is your name Liz your name is Liz what is your age tonight I feel like 105 so let's say my age is 105 press any key to continue that's good. Now, can you save your program as, and you can call it age, just like I have done here. So now you have learned how to read in 
text, text window.read, and then how to put a string followed by a variable name as output. Here you've learned how to read in from the keyboard the information and store it as a number and then you have seen how to put a string together with a number concatenate it that means concatenate concatenate it's just adding the two things together without doing anything mathematical to them you're just putting one after the other one after the other concatenate and that plus becomes a concatenation symbol when it comes straight after a string so if you have that figured out, that is great. That's all we needed to do.